Hi, this is Mickey. Several days ago, I did a demo in Lightroom showing different masking techniques. And out of that demo, I got some questions on cleaning up a mask using a brush tool and auto mask. So I thought, what better way to show this than put a quick demo together, a quick video to show that how that's accomplished. So here we're looking at an Osprey uh, in flight and it's on a good background in the sky. And we want to uh, mask our Osprey so we can brighten it up. There's several ways to do that. Uh, and we're going to use our masking tools. So we're going to go to the masking icon here in Lightroom, click on it. It's going to show the masks available. The two that I like to use in this is either subject or objects. Now there's really no right or wrong way to mask starting with subject or objects. It's just what mask you're comfortable with and what does the best job. So to start out with, let's just choose subject and see what kind of mask we get looks pretty good. We have some cleanup they'll have to do around these edges here, around the feet, and maybe a little bit along the wings, and that'll be easy to do. So let's get rid of this one, and let's look at objects and see what we can do with that. Now there's two ways to do objects. One is to draw a rectangle around and let AI figure out what the object is, or we can actually paint over the whole uh, area that we want to mask and let AI figure that out. So I'll show you both of these. We'll use the brush first and when we use the brush you size it to you know what's appropriate for what area you're masking and you're just going to make a rough sketch around the object that you want to mask. Alright so let's look and see. Looks like it did a little better than the subject masking did. It got these areas but we still have some areas to clean up around the wings and the feet. So let's back out of this and let's go to object and we're going to use the rectangle tool. And all you're doing is drawing a rectangle around the object that you want to mask. This one looks about the same as the subject mask. So we'll, we'll just stick with this one instead of just going ahead and, and changing it up to something else. Now to, to mask this, I always like to zoom in and to do that you hit command or control on the windows and press your plus key and that zooms in. And then you hold your space bar and you get the little hand icon and you can click and drag and put it exactly where you want it to be. Now you can also do that in your navigation window up here. You just drag the box around and put it around the area that you want to clean up. All right, so let's get cleaning this up. The first thing we want to do, we want to go up to our create new mask window where we can see we have the object mask and we want to click on subtract and then we want to choose brush and that's going to give us our brush. We want to make sure that auto mask is turned on. Now the feature of auto mask is that when the plus or the minus key minus in the center of our ring here, our brush ring, when it's in a plus we're adding and when it's in a minus we're subtracting. Because we hit, hit subtract it defaults to minus. You can always change it on the fly by holding the option key down and it'll turn it to a plus. But for us, we are going to be subtracting. Now the secret to the auto mask is that whatever color is resting under the little minus mark, that is the color it's going to use to clean up the mask. All right. So it really doesn't matter how large it is in some instances. In this instance, it doesn't matter because we have a blue sky that's pretty uniform around the whole bird. So as long as I have my minus mark under the blue, when I click and drag or just click, it will remove all the masking area that's on the blue. So it shouldn't be touching the bird and it won't. I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush to about half what I had. So I want my brush about that big. I want my feather to be about 50% and I want my flow and density at 100%. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little more to work on the wing tip, hold my space bar down and drag and drag. So now you can see we have the mask overlay in between these wings and we wanna get rid of it. You can also see a little bit along the edge of the whole wing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our minus is in the, the blue area and we're going to click. And when we do that, you see it just removes the area of the blue. As long as that minus mark is in the blue of the sky, it will not touch the bird. Now a better way to do this is to make it your brush size real big 
and then just click anywhere on the sky as long as you have the rings in the area you want them to remove the mask so you can see I have just about the whole I'll do the whole wing the whole tip of the wing just like this and I'm going to put my minus mark in the blue and click see that got it all if we click again it'll clean up even more so with just two clicks I've cleaned up the whole area of this wing right here now what we want to do is we want to clean up around the edge of the wing so I'm going to hold my spacebar down and drag up and I am just going to keep my minus in the blue and I'm just going to slowly drag around the edge and see how it's cleaning up as long as I don't touch the wing with that minus mark it's not going to take any of the masking away from the bird so I'm going to go around the whole bird like this clean up around the edges all right, so now we're at the feet. Uh, we can click here and get rid of what's in between the feet so we can bring the sky back there. But we can also, again, I'm gonna make a big brush and I'm just gonna click right here, making sure the talons are in the circle and click. Let's click one more right here, cleans it all up. Now, even got the little spaces in between there. And that's because wherever the minus mark is, that's where it's going to remove the excess masking. We'll get around the bird's face here. We'll come up further along the wing. We'll get right here. Keep going. What I'm doing is holding my space bar down, getting my little hand. I'm scooting around the bird so I can see it in a very large mode. I'll just finish up real quick. Now we're back to the top got everything clean now if we got if we just really wanted to pixel peep we could zoom in a little more and we can see that we have some edge here it's very tiny in the grand scheme of things you probably won't even notice it but if you're a pixel peeper and you want to clean it up you actually can clean up here too you want to make sure that your brush is very small when you're in this area and you want to hold your option key down because we're going to paint on the mask. This is part of the wing, so it should be an add and not a subtract. So when I hold my option key down, I now get a plus mark. I size my brush to very small with a decent feather, and I can start painting just like this along the edge of the wing. And you see it's including that part of the wing in the mask. And I'm not going to take the time to go around the whole wing. I'm, I just wanted to show you the technique so that if you had to add or subtract, you could do it in the same operation just by holding the option key. So now that we have the entire bird masked, we can now go and change our exposure, bring up our shadows, and bring the bird in. And as you can see, we really don't have any glowing edges around the bird. It's a pretty good mask. A little contrast and maybe bump up the color just a little bit and that's how we use auto mask especially when you have a very uniform background you don't have to be real careful uh, you can hit large areas at one time all right now we're looking at these birds we are going to use the subject detection and see how all well that works so in this one it looks pretty good it of course it didn't get in between the legs in the water and we're going to clean that up and it might be a little blurry down here we might be able to clean up but it is water it should be blurry it shouldn't be real definite so let's zoom in on our feet here and we want to clean up this area in between the legs so we want to subtract we're going to use our brush we're going to use a semi small brush about about like this size uh, with a medium feather and flow and density at 100%. And now we're going to just brush in the blue, and I'm going to go along the edges to make sure we get a good, good mask here. So the secret to using when we're using this soft edge brush, we'll increase our feather just a little bit, is to put the edge, and I'll zoom in, is to put the edge of the feather on the subject. We don't want to put the main, the inner circle, because that's where the main brush is putting the effect down 
but we want to be between the inner circle and the outer circle. And that way it gives us a soft edge brush and it gives us a little more leeway in as we're cleaning up around the bird. Once I get the edges done, then I'll go in and I'll do a, a finer cleanup with a bigger, I mean a, a quick cleanup with the brush. So for now, I'm just going to use my feathered edge of the brush. As you can see, the dark inner ring is really not touching the bird. It's only the feathered edge of the brush because that's a soft edge. So we're going to go through just like this. And once I get an area that I've already got done real good, then I'm going to go in here and, and hit it real fast. And as you can see, you can just keep going around the edge, even in the water's edge. If we keep that soft edge on there, it doesn't really wipe out the dark shadow or the reflection of the bird in the water because we, we kind of want to keep that in the picture, in the mask. So I'm just using my feathered edge and going around the edges very carefully. Now, I know it can be, get kind of tedious, but you know, you can do it fast or you can do it good. It's either way. All right, so I just did a little bit of that. There's no sense in taking it too far. And I can go to my tone here and bump up and knock down my highlights, knock down the whites. And as you can see, it's a good mask. You really don't have anything in the water uh, reflection. It's The mask has covered everything very well. Well, I hope showing you this technique of using your brush tool with auto mask and cleaning up your mask helps you out. This is a technique that I use, and you know there's other techniques to clean up your mask that work just as well. This is just the one that I find the most success with. There really is no right way or wrong way to clean up your mask. The best way is what you're comfortable with and what you find the most success with. I hope to help you out with other features in upcoming sessions, and I will talk to you soon.